What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. I took a little bit of time off just to recoup and get through some busy projects, but we're back now and on a new day. The Scale News Update will now be uploaded every Tuesday. So you'll be able to check in every week and see what's new in the world of RCs over the last week. Since I missed a handful of weeks, we're gonna have to go back a little bit further and just cover some of the highlights over that time. But let's get into this week's topics. Last week, Proline released a handful of new bodies, two scale bodies and a couple of drag bodies as well. The scale bodies they released were the Metric and a Stepside Chevy. Now the Metric is in combination with Knight Customs. The Metric was released to be the base of a custom build. It's a Lexan body, but it's got an opening hood and it's got an opening for a 3D printed grill. And then a ton of upgrades have been designed around this body specifically. Now Knight Customs offers a lot of these upgrades on Shapeways already, but you'll also be able to find some of the files on either his My Mini Factory website where you can purchase the files to then print your own, or even some on Thingiverse where you can just print your own for free. Seeing Proline work directly with Knight Customs, who's offered tons of accessories for their bodies in the past, it's cool to see that they're working together from the start to develop an entire platform that allows for this type of accessorizing. I'll add links to all of the places that you need to go to find those accessories in the description below. The steps side Chevy bed that Proline also released at the same time. It's a nice addition to the line as well. You can definitely see how that would be a fun base to build off of. Last week, Axial had a new release and it's a revamped version of the Yeti Junior, this time with a Can-Am X3 side-by-side -side style cap on top of the Yeti Junior platform. Now the Yeti Junior came out initially and then it was somewhat hard to find supply of them as well as spare parts for them. And it was just kind of this weird time with the end of Hobby Co and Horizon picking them up and then trying to get everything in order, but it looks like they're back now and that they're going to be well supported with both replacement parts and optional upgrade parts, which were not available before. So while it did ruffle a lot of feathers from people seeing a side-by-side -side release rather than a completely new crawler or scale truck, anything like that, you know, it's just another option that they have for a platform that already existed that was being underutilized. So a refresh to it, and it may draw people in from an outside crowd, even though it's got a solid rear axle instead of independent. It's a cool, fun toy at a $150 price tag, so not exactly gonna break the bank. For those of you who are a fan of the smaller scale stuff, this could be a fun addition to your fleet. Or if you're just looking for a scale accessory that kind of fits that 1 10th scale platform look, this may also be a good choice. This week, you can jump onto the Vanquish Products online store and save 20% on anything on the site. So you can jump on there and save pretty good on anything from VS410s to just a new set of wheels or some accessories for your Bomber, Wraith, SCX-102, anything like that. So you can jump over there, find what you need. There's no coupon needed. All you have to be is logged on and you'll automatically save the money. And speaking of VS410s, Freaky Skins released a new interior body detail set for the VS410 Origin. Now these are real metal panels that help detail out the interior and cargo area of that Origin body. There's also some 3D printed accessory pieces that come in that package. You can go check out all of the details over on the Freaky Skins website and I'll put the link in the description below. For you scale guys who like to run brushed motors, Tekken released a new ESC called the BXR. This is a waterproof brushed only ESC that's ultra compact. So if you're running tight on space, you just wanna make sure you keep everything out of sight, you can go check this thing out brushed only, extremely small and waterproof, a nice little package deal. You can jump over to their site, find all of the details. But if you're looking for more power, Holmes Hobbies has got some new pricing available for the Polar Pro motors. These are four pole brushless motors, anything from high KV to low KV, stubby to full 550 length. You can find these now with a new look and new price. So jump over to his site, links in the description below, find the motor that you need for your build. Going a little bit further back and covering some of the highlights from the Nuremberg Toy Fair, Trax has had a couple of releases they were showing there. One was a new set of TRX4 Trax. So for those of you who like to go in the snow or other places that you may use tracks, this looks like they're gonna have some sort of option. And I'm guessing that it'll be on the more affordable side than a lot of the tracks that we've seen in the past. So kind of interested to see what they do here and when they release them. But like the accessories we saw for the TRX4 Sport before, it could be a while before we actually see it released. Another thing that they showed there was another version of the TRX4. This is a Mercedes G-Wagon look. Now I have to say, I didn't love the TRX4 Sport body to start with. 
But this new Mercedes body makes me really appreciate that TRX4 Sport body. This thing is a very interesting choice for Traxxas. The wheels and tires and body combination really makes this thing look almost like a new bright. It just does not look like anything I would expect to have seen from Traxxas. I don't know what exact market they're going after with this look, but it's an interesting one. Definitely comment your thoughts below on this body. I don't know what to say. And lastly for this week, just before I stopped the scale news update last time, there was the release of a couple of new three wheel RCs. Now these are inspired by some full size RCs that are available. Can't wait to get one of these things. Definitely gonna go with the off-road style one. Probably have to pick up the drifting version as well. Looks like they're being offered from a couple of different companies. So it looks like this platform is being made available to these companies overseas and they're just kind of fitting them as they see best. But I'm on board for it. Definitely gonna have to pick one up, find some sort of use for it. But that's gonna do it for this week's news. Hopefully you guys are on board for the new day. I can get them done on Monday nights rather than having to come in if I'm having a lazy Sunday or something like that. So it's just gonna work out much better for me. But if you guys have any other comments either on any of the news stories, the new day, anything like that, drop them below. Also, don't forget the like button if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see them as soon as they pop up and we'll see you on the next one.